Guys, here in Australia, I often tell people, you know what? Um, you're demonizing China's coal power, and they do use coal power, that's for sure. But actually, China's installing a lot more renewable energy than they are coal, and people don't believe me. They think that I'm just making this up. Well, actually, the facts say that um, it's true. China is, in fact, installing far more renewable energy than anything else, whether that be nuclear, coal, or gas. And as a result, they just hit a new record, which is more than a tipping point. It's truly and honestly the beginning of the end for fossil fuels in China, whether that's in cars, trucks, or at power stations. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. I'm Sam Evans. Thank you for tuning in. Now, what is going on in China? Well, yes, it's true that last year China did build some coal power stations. Yes, it did. But that made up a very small fraction of the energy that was built out in China. China is building twice as much renewable energy as the rest of the world combined. I mean, their renewables de deployment is truly staggering this year. In what is being called a pivotal moment and a historic first, the accumulated capacity of wind and solar projects in China has now overtaken coal for the first time. And solar capacity alone will overtake coal within two years, just by itself. Generally, with these reports from China, you know, things like where China will say oh, EV market share will hit this percentage by this year, the Chinese government are exceptionally conservative. They said, right, that EVs would represent 50% of all Chinese car sales. They said that would happen in 2029. 2029. Uh, it's already happened this year. So it happened six years, literally, or oh, sorry, I should say five years before the Chinese government predicted. So it's actually possible that um, China will have more solar next year than they will coal. In fact, it's very likely. Simon Deng, a senior analyst at Reistad Energy said this, we're at a pivotal moment for both China and the global energy transition. A pivotal moment. Where are we pivoting towards? What does that mean? Well, it means things like this. Germany hit 60% renewable energy this year. Almost every Western country has broken records this year on renewable energy deployment and renewables are only doing one thing. They need batteries to really work, right? Battery prices continue to plummet. In fact, battery prices for energy storage have fallen far faster than batteries for EVs. I'm not sure why, but they have. And we're about to hit that point, right, where that's gonna be even better because sodium ion batteries are about to be used for energy storage within the next year or two, and they will drastically reduce the cost. But sodium ion batteries do have some significant advantages over lithium ion phosphate batteries, which are currently used by Tesla and other companies for energy storage. I mentioned those in a separate video, and I'll talk about those the difference in those battery chemistries in an upcoming video. With strong renewable energy project pipelines in place, China is on track to shed its reputation as the world's largest greenhouse gas, gas emitter and power consumer. Solar energy will be central to this transformation with advancements in supply chains, infrastructure, and capacity additions set to surpass coal in energy production within, I would say, within 12 months. This is actually very, 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 very important. When you think about it, China actually has enough renewable energy for every single one of its citizens, every single day, for 24 hours, every day, every one. But it does not have renewable energy to cover its manufacturing base that's where the coal, these emissions are coming from. But the Chinese government doesn't want these emissions. And part of the reason is because coal is basically killing people. Guys, in the United States, it's been proven that over a 22 year period, millions of people died prematurely because of breathing in coal dust, as, even as far as 100 miles away from a coal power plant. If you live near one, move away immediately. I'm serious, especially if you've got kids, move away. This shift could be a landmark achievement potentially transforming China from a coal-dependent giant into a leader in clean energy. And a lot of Australians, they don't want this story to be true. A lot of Australians, in fact, if I were to tell them this story, they would be furious at me. And I'm not exaggerating. In fact, I'm probably understating the point. The reason is because so many jobs here in Australia are dependent on the coal industry. So there's a fear, especially where I live, Newcastle, it's basically a coal city, 
that China's consumption of coal will drastically fall and therefore many of their jobs would be at risk. It's a very real fear because it will happen. It's inevitable. My advice, if you have a job in that industry, retrain now. The time is not to retrain when you lose your job. The time is to retrain when you know you're going to lose your job at some point in the near future. Reistat Energy says it has analyzed the latest data from China's National Energy Administration and says the additions of wind and solar have outstripped coal in China by a factor of 16 times in the first half of 2024, as new coal additions slumped to just eight gigawatts. So guys, you can see here from this chart that the amount of coal China is actually building is minuscule in comparison to the amount of renewable energy that's being built out. Reneweconomy.com.au, I'll put a link to their channel in the description, say that wind and solar energy has, as of June this year, eclipsed coal in capacity. And Rice said Energy says solar power alone will surpass coal as China's primary energy source in 2026. With a cumulative capacity exceeding 1.38 terawatts, which is 150 gigawatts more than coal. Solar is much cheaper than coal as well. And once you uh, build them out, the panels are there, coal, you burn it, it's gone, right? Rice said Energy notes that since 2020, annual installations of wind and solar energy have consistently exceeded 100 gigawatts, three to four times the capacity additions for coal. So we're hearing all this stuff constantly in the media, you know, about China's coal consumption, blah, 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 it's terrible, they're building all these coal power plants. Yes, I've admitted many times they have built some, but nothing like what the media are trying to paint. The truth is the pic that picture, that story is very different. Fortunately for us, fortunately for the world, China definitely does, it is planning on being 100% renewable based. And that will happen quicker than we think because the one of the key reasons is as the, the cost of solar goes down, the cost of energy, the cost of batteries goes down, that obviously harness all that extra solar during the day. We're also seeing improvements in energy density in batteries and improvements in the amount of sun a solar panel can harvest. So whilst the price is going down, the efficiency of both technologies is going up. This momentum has only gathered pace since then, says SA experts, with last year seeing China set a record of 293 gigawatts of wind and solar, bolstered by gigawatt scale renewable hub projects from the NEA's first and second batches connected to the country's grid. China's coal power sector is moving in the opposite direction. Last year, approximately 40 gigawatts of coal power was added this figure plummeted to eight gigawatts in the first half of this year. So let's say that China, they built out the same amount in the second half of this year of coal. They would therefore hit 16 gigawatts of coal this year compared to 40 last year. Whereas clearly the trend is the opposite with the deployment of solar, wind and batteries. China has imposed strict restrictions on new coal projects to meet carbon reduction goals. And efforts are now focused on phasing out smaller, more polluting coal plants, upgrading existing ones to reduce emissions and enforcing more stringent standards for new projects. It's actually very hard now to get a permit to build a coal power station in China. Thanks for watching.